how you can make a 76% return in the first year of operation as an institutional investor. You know what? I think they're not gonna stop the dark pool trades. They're just making too much money out of it. How you can make 76% return in the first year of operation? Well, with the giant help of the dark pool trades. Look at this. The king of block trades is entangled in US probe of Morgan Stanley. Frank Fu whose firm achieved 76% return in the first year, wields billions to help banks unload stock. The US is examining those symbolic relationships. So basically you're telling me that without the help of the dark pool and block trading, this particular guy and his company won't be able to achieve anything? I don't know, most likely. Because if he has to execute all of his orders to the open market, well, he's not gonna get a good deal if he wants to buy uh, 300,000 shares of particular company. When the order is fulfilled on 100,000, the market maker will be already front running him. The prices will go high, high, high. And eventually when the order is fulfilled, the price the cost basis of this particular trade will be much higher. Also, everyone else will be seeing what he's buying. People will be buying as well. And this, my dear apes, won't make him 76%. And why they should stop the dark pool trades, right? Uh, this guy is making money. Morgan Stanley is making money. His investors are making money. The government is making money collecting taxes from him and, 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 and the investors. And, and Morgan Stanley, right? Everyone is making money. This is just to prove the point, guys, that there are people out there who master it only one tool of the market in this example we're talking about block trades and they utilize this tool in the best way possible they they can extract as much as value and advantages over everyone else amc currently is down around 40 percent from the latest run-up just think about this right we run like crazy again this could be potential another long conversation is the run-up was natural or the run-up was again another installment coming from the dark pool again is this run-up was actually inspired from the formal buying and the natural price action and maybe some small hedge funds covering here and there because as we've seen uh, in practice the the shares available for borrowing on stone contractor are coming from the small uh, hedge funds who borrow shares who cover their short positions and return the shares every single day there are plenty of shares you can find 60,000, 5,000, 500,000, 2 million, 3 million shares every single day. So in practice, if this is accurate, all the uh, shares that we're seeing, availability of these shares are coming from uh, people who return the shares, who cover their short positions. But in theory, we didn't see as much as the price action, right? We can speculate that during this time frame, we did see a price action, right? The stock skyrocket, but eventually the shares kept being available every single day but the stock didn't move upward trajectory. The stock kept moving lower and lower. It's not everything bad, right? This just gives you an example that the truth is that AMC is not worth 20 bucks because if this guy can make 70% trading through the dark pool, right? Trading blocks of stocks. This means that uh, the availability, if we based supply and demand for AMC stock, the stock we can speculate that uh, could be at least four or five X of the current rates stock could be 80 could be 100 hours if we completely remove the dark pool trading we have to agree that dark pool trades uh, impact negatively not only on on amc but on any other stock that's traded out there because dark pool trades appear for a very short period of time trying to deviate particular price action for a short period of time right somebody wants to benefit from particular stock at the lower level they can push it by dumping a bunch of shares, a bunch of blocks of stocks on the market. If somebody wants to benefit from the potential run-up, what they're going to do, they're going to buy now, and then they're going to announce that they already bought, right? They're not going to buy it through the lit market so that everyone else can see it and benefit from it, right? This just proves the point that there are so many uh, wealthy individuals that are benefiting from trading through the dark pool. And unfortunately, it's not just AMC and GameStop. If this was the case associated with this short squeeze place, well, I think it would be much easier to expect suspension or some uh, special regulation, right? But as we can see, a lot of a lot of institutions, a lot of uh, important people are using dark pool for trading. Seems to be that they're investigating 
uh, the way he actually used the dark pool, right? They're not investigating a particular functionality of a dark pool. He, they want to see how this particular guy used the block trading uh, method, what kind of strategies, is everything was legal and was good, right? And then uh, he got this 76% return. It is what it is, guys, right? Still here. 12 hours, 13 hours, 14 hours. Still here, guys. Not been waiting 16 months, 15 months for what? 20 hours per share. Leave your thoughts in the comment section, guys. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and come back for more.